Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Commission Thursday, where we believe that every believer is the light, every believer is the salt, and every believer is the Christ ambassador, and every believer is the carrier of the message of good news. this particular time I was just talking, uh, meditating on this portion of scripture, in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verses 19, where Christ is telling, calling the disciples and he say, come follow me and I will make you the disciples of men. Because the first dimension of this call is to be with Jesus Christ. Now, today we will not focus on that because I know we've talked about that and probably some time in the future we will emphasize on that aspect of us coming and being with Jesus Christ. But I want to focus on this place that he say, follow me and I will make you the fishers of men. Now this process of making is sometimes a challenge and I think as a church or as individual or as Christian, that's where sometimes we, we miss it. Because I want us to look at the four pointers when Christ is saying, I will make you. The first thing that he wants us to do is he wants us to engage. What do we engage in? For you to engage in a particular thing, you must have a vision of where that particular thing is heading to. You must have the passion for you to engage and you must make a deliberate decision that you are going to be part of it. Most of us, we are not effective in our marketplace or being the light as being the salt because we are not deliberate and we've not made that particular decision to engage. This calling is an assignment for us to engage. We must engage in communicating the gospel. We must engage in uh, persuading people about this gospel. We must engage. It might be extensive or intensive, but we must engage. The second thing uh, of this dimension of calling is we are calling people to experience uh, the grace. One amazing thing with the sal uh, salvation, it's an experience, not like any other things that I need to be rich or to do rituals for me to, uh, to be in a particular level, but no. The amazing thing with salvation through the blood of Jesus Christ, it's an experience. For me to be where I am today, it's an experience of grace. For me to love, it's because I've experienced the, the true love that comes from God. It's an experience the way I, 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 I experience Jesus Christ forgiving my sins and making me a new creature. It's an experience. So Christ is calling us when he says that I will make you to, uh, to, uh, I will make you to be a follower. It's an experience so that you can take people out of this modern uh, life experience into a new experience of grace that is anchored on God. And the third thing that he's calling us upon is to build a new relationship. The reason why he's saying that I will make you fishers of men because there is a lifestyle, the former ways that people are used to, but he's calling us so that we can lead these people into a new relationship with him. So our assignment, whenever God plants us in various platforms, in the marketplace, in ministries, in schools, in institutions, is so that we can develop this relationship to, drink, uh, to bring people to the gospel of the kingdom of God. My fourth and the final point is so that we can impart these godly values to other people. I know we live in a, in a generation and a time where people don't value, uh, don't have values, but the values are the things that will make us to stand. So when he's saying that I will make you a fisher of men, it's because you have values and you need to impart these values to other people in your family, in your marketplace, or where God has called you. How to be obedient and how to follow Holy Spirit. The disciplines of Christ, these are the values that we need to take out there. So for you to be the light, to be the salt, and to be the carrier of the message of good news, you need these values anchored on you. So in this particular week, as we step out, remember, you must engage, you must lead people to experience this grace, and you must help people to develop this new relationship. And finally, you must be anchored on these values that people can emulate. Be blessed.